Hello and welcome to my F122 manager career mode here today for part 11 for the Austrian Grand Prix in the last episode we were at Silverson for the British Grand Prix where we had a fairly good result so we're looking to build on that coming into this weekend into qualifying towards the end of qualifying Hamilton being held up again this time by his teammate Cousin really got caught out back in Silverstone had to do that epic drive back through the field as he went on to finish on the top five but he's still in traffic here and he is towards the back so he needs to improve he's improved in the first sector not in the middle sector and he's been held up by the Alfa Romeo in the final sector but it is going to get him up there he's further down Latifi's on the bubble can he get himself up there? no Latifi does knock himself out. Ricardo though, towards the back. Can Ricardo get through? Yes, he can. Next up is Vettel. Can he get his Aston Martin through? No. What about Stroll? No. What about Albon? He's fallen as well. With Q1 over, both of them are free, thank God, this time round. So we're at the end of Q2. And George is pushing hard, currently sitting B5. Can he get himself further up the order? Cross the line, stays. Hamilton also B6. He's already crossed the line. So can Ricardo get himself out of the bottom five? No. Both McLarens have fallen. So has the house of Magnussen as well. Now we're into the business end of it. Can Hamilton pull himself any further up the order, currently P6 is improved in the first two sectors up to the line now and he crosses it and he gets himself into P5 only ahead of George but can George improve? George is going personal best, personal best can Sainz get himself on pole position? No it's only good enough for P2 what about Verstappen? He can only manage B3. George up to the line now. Doesn't improve in that final sector. And it's going to be a 5 and 6 for us. So into the race for the strategy now. And I was originally going to do the one stop for George and then the two stop for Lewis. Just mix up a little bit. But George is much worse on looking after his eyes compared to Hamilton and we know how good he is look at what he did last night at Silverstone so one stop for Lewis two stop for George and we'll see at the end of 71 laps where we stand we're going to see how far he can go Lewis so hopefully it's far let's go we to have the race beautiful blue skies overhead as the drivers line up on the grid. And here we've got Lewis Hamilton. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And here we can see Russell. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And we're just moments away now. It's the race we've all been waiting for. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Just like Crofty said, it's lights out and away we go. Can we get a good start? As it's two Ferraris away. Into turn one. Sainz chops off. Perry's there. And now they're side by side. Lewis is going to jump George here though. Bottas. Lingering in the background like he always does. The two Red Bulls side by side now, but Paris stays ahead. And that's not what Red Bull would have wanted. They need their star man ahead to fight the two Ferraris. Red Bull not really been there this season, but I should mention that this footage is very, very old compared to what's happening now and what the game is like now this is 
was recorded when the first when the game very first came out. So that was in August. We're currently now at the end of March at the time of recording. So this footage is quite old, and the DRS is still very powerful around here as George sweeps around the outside of Hamilton and moves up into P5. Means as he is on the two stop strategy, we ideally need him to stay ahead of Lewis. Lewis is going long, but Lewis is going to come back at him. I know we could quite easily tell Lewis to stay behind, but we need to let them race. We can't just control everything. But side by side, they come again. George is coming back at Hamilton. But Hamilton stays ahead. And there's a massive dive bomb back there from one of the Alpines. Pressurizing Bottas. And now heading down the straight here comes George. Back at him. Hamilton, there's another huge dive bomb there. Yes, again. Can they make it work that time? It looks like they haven't been able to. As though this is George overtaking no, Hamilton. And there's Bottas. Bottas on a replay. Run wide at that double left hander. And now the Alpines have arrived and they've absolutely blitzed. And um, Hamilton there. Alonso has done him wrong. Before they even get to turn three. And he's already got George as well as we skipped on a little bit. But Hamilton in the tyre tracks. Pulls to the outside and is through. As we go into the inside corner, and there's two Red Bulls. The two Red Bulls have, are off into the gravel at turn four. What has happened here? Is Max Verstappen into the first corner? The two Red Bulls have collided. Error of the Red Bull ring, the very home track. That's not what the Orange Army have come to see at Austria. We'll see. The two Red Bulls have wiped each other out. Definitely Paris's fault in the eyes of Christian Horner. Just like it was always Weber's fault when it was Vettel. And now, back to our battle with the Alpines. Alonso and Hamilton, this is vintage stuff. What we all want to see. Awesome work, Come on. Hamilton is ahead. And now, George is all over the back, but he's been stunned. Up the inside by Ocon. Can he stay ahead? Really hold on. The DRS very powerful. As well round here. There's Lewis now. Alonso going to go to the outside. They're both battling. This is so hard to keep up with. But they are both going at it now. As this is Bossas again. Bossas having an absolute nightmare. He run wide. And now he's spun. And now heading through. Both of them have got passes now. But we are going to hopefully here yeah, rocket past them. You've been just a little bit too far back though to do anything there. But now though, through goes Hamilton on Alonso. And now Ocon is next. Yeah, and can he get Ocon now? He's on the outside. Through he goes. George though still needs to get both of them. And hopefully that'll be the next lap. As now here they come down the straight. Here is George. Getting past one of them. Down the inside into turn one, but he's gonna hold it around the outside. Is Alonso. But George is, is through. And they're side by side now. Heading up into turn three. Good job there. And then it's job done there. Surely. And now both of them are back ahead, which is very ideal for us. And now George overtakes Hamilton. And hopefully we can just calm down for a minute. So push and hard, push hard. Let's see. I'm gonna tell George to push on those soft tires. But he's not doing a very good job of that. And now he's going to be mugged by Lewis again. Into turn one is he? Lewis is on the inside. 
this really isn't helping our race at the minute. George is still trying to push flat out. He's keeping Lewis behind and Lewis has been done by the Alpine of Ocon. This isn't helpful. As I mentioned earlier, this footage is very old. So when the game first came out, I'm sure you can remember, the DRS was so powerful. It was impossible for them to get out, out of it. And when they did get out of it, gone. But when they couldn't, stuck here forever. And that's exactly what's happening here. As once again, Hamilton's coming into pressure. But this time, it looks like... Oh no, I didn't say it looks like George had pulled out a bit of a gap there. But, unfortunately not. There's now we head up into turn 4 again. Hamilton down the inside is being done by Alonso. Side by side now as we head back down the hill and into turn 4 where the two Red Bulls collided earlier in the Grand Prix. Hamilton's trying to hold it round the outside there. George staying ahead of Ocon. Lewis though has fallen behind Alonso and now we head through the final sector of the lap to the outside bit wide there by Ocon and now that's going to allow his teammate to maybe have a sniff at the inside but he was just too far back but into the final corner Alonso is going for it on his teammate they're side by side can Lewis pick a side here and maybe get both of them so by side into turn one, Alonso is through on Ocon, but Ocon with the DRS breezes past Alonso, breezes past George and puts himself into P4 and P3 as we're fighting over the final place on the podium. Yeah, the two Ferraris, you can see by the gap, gone, absolutely gone. After 10 lap, 20 laps, they already have nearly a pit stop. But we're coming into pressure again. Hamilton now pressurising Ocon Alonso to the inside. And it looks like Jovden is it. And he's maybe there was thinking about a look at the inside of George. And he very much so is. Can he go to the inside though? No. He can't do what Ocon. Alonso did to Ocon, but he is going to have a go on the exit as we skip on now down the straight. This is so much action here in Austria. So, so interesting as George has passed, so is Lewis on Ocon. Lewis getting the double toe there, and now with the DRS detected to the outside, swings past around the outside. And uh, no, Lewis is not through. Lewis is not through. George has held on. This isn't really a good strategy thing for us, manager wise, but this is entertaining to watch. But also frustrating that we can't get away. As we're two by two now into turn four, and there is Hamilton still trying to overtake George here. But now needs to watch out for the Alpines. But they couldn't do anything. Into turn one, nearly four wide by the looks of things there. Alonso got his teammate. Tried to get Lewis up the inside. But he's trying again into turn four. Hamilton holding it around the outside. As we're only on lap 25. This is, this is going to be a long video. As we head up towards turn four again turn three again because that kink somehow glasses a corner as to the outside now is Lewis on George and now Alonso just needs to bide his time as he gets closer and closer to the back of of Hamilton's car but it is that time now and 
so box box We box. managed to get those tyres very far on George's car, so we are going to actually pit him and put him on the hard tyres because why not? If the stuff can go that far, how far can these mediums go on Lewis? But unfortunately, we've put George in a bit of an awkward situation. We haven't done the best job we could of finding a gap. And now, look at the pack he has in front of him. And it's Ricardo. This though, this is Alonso boxing. To make this one an only stop, there's a yellow flag though. Ah, oh, but it's gone. Maybe a chance of a safety guy there, but no. Here is though, the big pack. Has Alonso beat out George? The answer was yes. And he's also beaten out the McLaren of Ricardo. As now we can see Hamilton still battling Ocon in the other Alpine. As we're still having the Alpine Mercedes battle. But we're just on two different parts of the track now. But Lewis got ahead. And now Ocon's having him back. But Lewis looks like he has a DRS disease. And he does. And he's going to go to the outside of Ocon. And now, hopefully, he sails it round the outside, which he does. But can Ocon hold on and get the exit? It looks like he has. Yes, he has. And now, Ricardo, even with his worn tyres, still staying in this. There's a yellow flag. Not too sure why. Heading for a safety car here, yeah, if there is one. And this is what's happened here. Is that McLaren? Oh, he's been hit by the horse. He's been hit by the horse. And that's a bit of a collision there. I think both cars are still going, but it's Magnussen in the horse. Has picked up a penalty for that, and you can't really argue with that. He's just steamrolled into the back of Lando Norris there wiped both of them out but Magnussen though causing it has come off a lot better in the long run as George finally gets past Ricardo and can now continue his battle with Alonso and can they go away so here we go into turn 4 and George is ahead of Alonso but I know I have no faith that he can get away from Alonso as now into the pitch you can see on your left hand side is Ocon and where is Ocon going to come out he is going to come out ahead of both of us as we are still battling away George re overtakes okay, Alonso okay now finds himself on the outside of Ocon Ocon defence for now but Ocon remember now has cold tyres and that allows George to sweep round the outside and up into the place but the Alpines coming back at him once again and he's been done by both of them Ricardo still staying in this battle and now we have caught Gasly in the Alpha Tauri and Ricardo has started to drop back a little bit now as we head up George still sat there as the Alpine of uh, Ocon is passed but Gasly gets him back and this is what obviously the fix is now but Gasly on worn tyres should not be able to keep these behind Especially around here in Austria, one of the easiest tracks we ever take on as well. As George Weaver takes Alonso. And now, after we extended his stint by a long, long way, we are going to box Lewis Hamilton. And he, we have kind of taken him out of the race. But hopefully, he can have the pace he did at Silverstone on these soft tyres and get after those in front and 
catch this barrel back up hopefully but we'll have to wait and see as Ocon is through on Gasly and now so is George Gasly boxed and now look at who has got on the back of our little battle of course it is it's Max Verstappen what a drive he is having after being absolutely wiped out and hitting his teammate at turn 4 early on has now put this game onto easy mode and has steamrolled everyone and now finds himself on the back of the two Alpines that are side by side and George is free, George hopefully can get away now Max just waiting for his opportunity basically now as here comes the Alpine and he's really overtaken George there unfortunately and they're both through at least one of them is is to the inside goes Max Verstappen nearly a knock on it's Alonso he was pulled through George though with the OP DRS breezes back past and now Ocon tried to go to the outside but Alonso is still there and now Verstappen is close enough to get one of them and is also overtaking George who briefly tried to make that free wide that didn't that very nearly didn't end very well and now George has dropped back the two Alpines are going wheel to wheel Max is trying to stick his nose in and the May to try and get himself back onto the podium is that what, that's what we are fighting for and now as we skip on Max has done it it was only a matter of time but he has overtaken George and both the Alpines and now we can look to a different battle because Lewis Hamilton has been caught by Perez and overtaken by Perez okay. but so what has happened here to yes, Ocon Ocon is off and through the gravel and that has left George all on his own because Alonso got out of the DRS and has bolted and now we're looking at a battle between the other Red Bull getting himself back through the field of Perez and he has gone to the back of Lewis who hasn't gone to the back and hasn't Sounds done like what I was hoping he would do Magnussen's locked up and Lewis re-overtakes Perez there and can Bottas in the background Bottas after his spins and everything this race he's still doing pretty well in, P in P9 and Perez though not managed to do what his teammates done and climbed himself back onto the podium especially as Lewis are getting closer and closer he just kept, couldn't quite get past good Hamilton but he's finally done it and he's back through but Perez breezes through again that Red Bull is superior to our Mercedes we're still a long way off where we need to be and where we want to be but with the DRS back round the outside is Hamilton but then back round the outside goes Perez into turn one Lewis with the DRS though trying to have him back as where there is just a single lap to go in this Grand Prix so much action going on it's been a great Alpine v Mercedes fight as now we head up through goes Perez on Lewis and that may be job done was that a 
for today unless Lewis can get a good exit. Coming out to the hairpin. Now up to the line. He is closing and he is breezed past Paris with the DRS and that may well be it. But up front, no such dramas for Charles Leclerc who crosses the line to win once again here this season. He is dominating this championship. Carlos Sainz coming home for P2. Our battle very much helping the two Ferrari to get away. But Max Verstappen spins early on and still comes home to take a great podium. Lewis has finished a lap down. George had no pressure from Ocon and comes home to finish P P5. As though a podium was very much potential there. Oh, P5 will do in the end. We probably should have beaten Alonso. But Max was always going to come through. Surprised by Perez. A win for Leclerc. And he's also miles clear in the Drivers' World Championships ahead of Carlos Sainz and especially Max Verstappen. In terms of the constructors though, Ferrari still dominating. Miles clear, we are still P3, kind of in no man's land. We're not quite close enough to Red Bull, but we are a long way clear of Alpine, who have had a strong weekend. Hope you enjoyed this one. We go to France next, and we'll see what happens there. But until that one, goodbye.